Well, talking sports, the Gamecocks winning tonight and advancing their season not over just yet. It's not over and it remains perfect. Let's go and go out live now to Cleveland with our sports director, Beth Hool, sports reporter, Carmine Jamey. And guys, you know, the fans, they had a huge send off at the hotel. Mm -hmm. Then they were loud inside the arena tonight and they are ready for a national championship. How's it going? Uh, yeah, I had a seat up in the upper deck of this. So outside of like print and the athletic and ESPN, there's not really a lot of room on the court for us TV reporters at big games like this. So we're up in the stands and it was filled all the way to the rafters with fans. The fans incredibly well represented in that. Um, and you're right, Justin, they were loud, they were proud, they carried that same energy from CLA all the way here to Cleveland. Excited to see this one. And well, I went into the locker room, Carmine, you came out here to talk to some of those fans about how excited they were and uh, they didn't disappoint. No, they didn't. They're always very vocal and have a lot of personality and a lot of love for Don Staley and the team. And just the way that they represent Columbia, South Carolina, and really women's basketball as a whole. I mean, no better uh, person to sponsor this incredible growth in women's basketball that we've seen than Dawn Staley and all of her players who have grown together closer as their own family. And, you know, they're called fams, but I actually spoke with the fam of Tahina Pow Pow, literally her family. And here's what her brother and several other of the fams had to say reacting to this great win and another trip to the national championship. Uh, I was, we were we were nervous for a couple quarters. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, it was a kind of a sleepless night last night, but yeah, they turned it on in the third quarter. And that, that's the South Carolina basketball that we're we're used to watching. So she's the greatest. You know what I mean, the thing of it is, Don puts teams out there, and she got them believing that they can't lose. And anytime you got young kids like that feeling like they can't lose, that's how it goes then. Oh, it was on fire. It's energy. I mean, you can feel the energy with every shot that's made. You feel the energy, okay? Every block shot, you felt it. It was like a personal testament to the game. So it, it's just awesome. I mean, you start thinking about all the greats that came before. I mean, come on. This, this is it. You know, this is it. If you're watching it at home, I'm telling you, next year you better get out here. Get out here and watch it, you know, live. It's nothing like it. It's like, hurry up, get this game over here that's playing now. Um, and we're ready. That's it. That's it. It's like, oh, hurry up. You know, I'm just here. You see, I'm just walking around, not even paying attention to the other game. I'm just walking around. Okay, just waiting till Monday. Just waiting till Sunday. That's it. That's just it. I'm just walking around. <laughs> She's just walking around. She's missing a heck of a game, though, because this Iowa-UConn game, you guys, it's a 4.1 right now. Uh, Caitlin Clark just now getting her nine points. She was held to just six, had no three-pointers uh, well into the third quarter of this one. It's a tight game as we wait to find out who South Carolina will play in the national championship as they return for the second one in three years. This redemption tour, one game away from being complete. You know, guys, I know we're here talking about sports, but Carmine, I've got to ask, what is this necklace that you're wearing? Is, is this something you found out there with the fans? He just throws it on, doesn't even mention it. <laughs> I know. Well, I was trying to set you guys up to reset me up. You did a great job. True pros, Dana and Justin. This is the best souvenir that I'm going to get here from the Final Four because Tahina Pow Pow's family, after I spoke with her uncle there, um, said welcome to the family, and they put this on. And uh, we'll have a story coming up on her family, which I didn't expect, but they were extremely welcoming. And they spoke about how the players on South Carolina have become a second family to Dana. It's totally revitalized her love of the game, transferring from Oregon to South Carolina. She was hanging out with Raven Johnson out here in the concourse. And in addition to going after her ultimate goal of a national championship, she's gained a new family in her teammates this year. Yeah, and Tahina Pow Pow returning for another year. She participated in Senior Day and then uh, later just announced uh, it would partnership with her father and Don Staley uh, that she will be returning for another year because she's loved it so much and this has been such a great impact on her. I'm not going to lie, Carmine, I'm pretty jealous. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to get that one from him, but it's, no. it's all right. But, it's all right. My ego will recover someday. Well, Beth, I, I will say, I will counter to Karma. He said it's the best souvenir he'll get. I would say the best souvenir, quality time with you. Oh, yes. That's what I would say. Mm-hmm.
<laughs> you know what? I have to admit, you guys, when we were able to reunite, because we have been on opposite sides of the country, everybody was like, are you so excited to get to Cleveland? And I was thrilled to rejoin the Gamecocks and to be able to be here to help cover and document this history. But I was like, honestly, I'm really excited to reunite with Carmine. He's been a great teammate. He's done us proud. And uh, we're absolutely thrilled to have him here at Fox Carolina. So that's now everything nice I have left to say. Yeah, sounds like the fams are excited to have him as well. Really welcoming him, welcoming him into the fam of South Carolina. Excited to have you all here and covering this with us. So much love in Cleveland. Thanks, guys. We'll check in just a little bit. <laughs>